What's up everybody and welcome back to Wealth Minds Elite, the place where we redefine success, one elite mind at a time. In this video, we're talking about something that could have a huge impact on your financial future, the 2024 election. Now I know what you're thinking, you're a real estate guy, why are you talking about politics? Here's the thing, the outcome of this election could directly affect your investments, your job, even the price of your morning coffee. We're going to break down 15 ways the 2024 election could transform the US economy. From taxes and healthcare to housing and tech, we'll cover it all. Make sure you stick around until the end of the video, because I'm going to share some tips on how to prepare your finances for whatever the future holds. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. First up, let's talk taxes. Whether you're an entrepreneur, a real estate investor, or just someone with a job, taxes play a huge role in how much money you actually get to keep. Now, different candidates and parties have different ideas about how taxes should work. Some might propose lower taxes for businesses, which could lead to economic growth, but maybe also higher deficits. Others might focus on raising taxes on the wealthy to fund social programs, which could impact investments in the stock market. Then there are things like capital gains taxes, property taxes, even estate taxes, all of which could be on the table depending on who wins the election. The point is your tax burden could look very different depending on the outcome of the election. It's crucial to stay informed about the tax proposals of each candidate and understand how those proposals might affect your personal financial situation. And hey, if you want to keep your taxes low, subscribing to our channel is totally free. For now, so hit that subscribe button before we start charging for it. Next up is healthcare, which is a major expense for individuals, families, and businesses alike. The 2024 election could bring significant changes to the healthcare system, which could have a ripple effect throughout the economy. We could see proposals for expanding government run healthcare programs, which could impact taxes and government spending. On the other hand, some candidates might push for more market-driven solutions, which could affect insurance premiums and the cost of care. Now, these changes won't just impact your health insurance premiums, they could also affect the stock market. Healthcare is a massive industry, and any major reforms could send shockwaves through the market, impacting your investments. The key takeaway here is that healthcare is a complex issue with far-reaching economic implications. Staying informed about the candidate's stances on healthcare is essential for making informed financial decisions. All right, guys, let's talk infrastructure. You know, those roads you drive on, the bridges you cross, maybe even the public transit you desperately wish was better. Infrastructure is the backbone of a functioning economy, and it's often a hot topic during elections. Candidates often campaign on promises of massive infrastructure projects promising to create jobs and boost economic growth. We're talking billions, even trillions of dollars poured into upgrading roads, bridges, airports, you name it. Now, on paper, this sounds fantastic. Construction jobs are created, materials need to be bought, and a more efficient infrastructure can lead to lower transportation costs for businesses. However, these mega projects come with their own set of challenges. First off, funding these projects usually means increasing government spending which can lead to higher taxes or a larger national debt. Secondly, these projects often take years, sometimes even decades, to complete, meaning the economic benefits might not be felt for a long time. Finally, there's always the risk of mismanagement and cost overruns, which can end up wasting taxpayer money. So, when you hear those campaign promises about shiny new infrastructure, remember to look beyond the initial hype. Consider the long-term costs, the potential benefits, and whether those benefits outweigh the risks. Because trust me, a crumbling bridge is bad, but a mismanaged infrastructure project can be a whole lot worse for your wallet and the economy in the long run. Let's be real. Nobody likes being told what to do, especially businesses. Regulations can feel like a bureaucratic headache, adding costs and complexity. Every election, candidates propose more or fewer regulations, Stricter regulations protect consumers, workers, and the environment. Lax regulations contributed to the 2008 financial crisis. Excessive regulations stifle innovation and growth. Deregulation can lead to lower prices and more choices. The truth lies somewhere in the middle. 
Balancing protection and business health is a delicate dance. We live in a globalized world, guys. Products you use every day are made up of components sourced from all over the planet. That's the power of international trade. But trade isn't always simple. It comes with winners and losers. Tariffs are taxes on imported goods. They make foreign goods more expensive to protect domestic jobs. Sounds great in theory, right? Well, hold on a minute. Tariffs are a double-edged sword. They lead to higher prices for consumers. A tariff makes products more expensive, cutting into your budget. Tariffs can spark retaliatory measures, leading to trade wars. So when you hear politicians talking tough on trade, take it with a grain of salt. Dig deeper and consider the potential consequences. Will they benefit the economy or shift the burden onto consumers? We're all interconnected in this global economy. And hey, if you want to navigate these economic waters with us, hey, hit that subscribe button. Because who doesn't love a good tariff talk, right? All right, let's talk about something that directly affects your wallet, the labor market. Elections can have a huge impact on your paycheck. And here's why. Different candidates have different stances on things like minimum wage, labor unions, and employment regulations. For example, a candidate pushing for a higher minimum wage might sound good if you're currently earning minimum wage. But businesses might respond by raising prices or even cutting jobs to offset the increased labor costs. It's not always as simple as it seems. Then you have policies around labor unions and collective bargaining. Stronger unions can mean better wages and benefits for workers, but they can also lead to increased costs for businesses. Finding that balance is key. And finally, we have employment regulations. These cover everything from overtime rules to workplace safety standards. Changes here can impact both employees and employers, so it's important to understand where each candidate stands on these issues. Remember, the labor market is a complex system, and any changes can have ripple effects throughout the economy. Let's be real. Environmental policies aren't just about saving the planet. They can have a big impact on your investments and the economy as a whole. Think about it. Candidates who prioritize fighting climate change might push for stricter environmental regulations, especially on industries like oil and gas. Now, this could mean increased costs for these companies potentially affecting their stock prices and profitability. On the flip side, it could also create opportunities for growth in renewable energy sectors like solar and wind power. We've seen this happen before. Remember the solar panel boom? Government incentives and regulations played a huge role in that. The 2024 election could be another turning point for these industries, so it's important to keep an eye on the candidates' environmental platforms. The bottom line is whether you're passionate about climate change or just want to make smart investment decisions. Understanding the potential impact of environmental policies is crucial in today's world. All right, let's talk about the future, and no, I don't mean flying cars, though that would be cool. I'm talking about education, and its impact on the economy. Now, education funding is a hot topic during every election cycle, and for good reason. See, the amount of money allocated to education can have a direct impact on the quality of our workforce. More funding can mean better schools, more resources, and ultimately a more skilled and competitive workforce. A highly educated workforce attracts businesses, drives innovation, and boosts economic growth. On the other hand, Inadequate funding can lead to a decline in educational quality, making it harder for Americans to compete in the global marketplace. It's a long-term investment, but it's one that pays off in the form of a stronger, more prosperous economy. So when you're evaluating the candidates in 2024, pay close attention to their stances on education funding. It could have a lasting impact on your future earnings and the overall health of the US economy. All right, so we've talked about taxes, healthcare, and even the climate. But there's another hot button issue that could seriously impact your wallet immigration. Now, I'm not here to get political, but it's important to understand how different immigration policies could reshape the US economy, regardless of your stance. First off, immigration reform could significantly impact the labor market. Think about it. More immigrants often mean more workers, especially in sectors like construction, agriculture, and tech. This could potentially lead to lower labor costs for businesses, but it could also mean increased competition for jobs, potentially driving down wages, 
especially for lower-income Americans. On the flip side, increased immigration can also lead to higher demand for goods and services, boosting the economy. More people means more spending on housing, food, transportation, you name it. Plus, immigrants often start their own businesses, creating jobs, and contributing to innovation. This entrepreneurial spirit is a huge part of what makes the US economy tick. So, it's a complex issue with potential upsides and downsides. As we head into 2024, pay close attention to the candidates' stances on immigration. Their proposed policies could have a real impact on your job prospects, your investments, and the overall health of the US economy. Let's talk about fiscal policy, how the government manages spending and taxation. It's like managing your personal finances, but on a much larger scale. Government spending and debt decisions create ripple effects on the economy. More spending can stimulate short-term growth, but overspending leads to budget deficits and growing national debt. Excessive debt can spook investors, raising interest rates and slowing growth. Reducing spending can rein in debt, but may slow the economy. Pay attention to candidates' fiscal policies. They impact your money and the economy. Let's talk about something crucial for your investment's monetary policy. The Federal Reserve manages money supply and interest rates to influence the economy. Think of the Fed as the economy's conductor. One main tool is adjusting interest rates. Lower rates encourage borrowing and spending. Higher rates can cool down inflation. Elections can create market volatility. Keep an eye on the Fed's actions in 2024. All right, let's talk about something that affects a huge chunk of the US population. Social security and retirement. This is something you need to be thinking about, whether you're just starting out or nearing retirement age. The 2024 election could have major implications for social security, which is already facing some serious long-term funding challenges. Different candidates will have different ideas about how to address this, from raising the retirement age to adjusting how benefits are calculated. Now, what does this mean for you? Well, it means paying close attention to the candidate's proposals and how they might affect your own retirement planning. Will you need to work longer than you expected? Will you need to save even more aggressively? These are questions you need to be asking. Remember guys, social security was never meant to be your only source of retirement income. Diversifying your investments, contributing to a retirement account, and building multiple income streams are crucial steps to take regardless of who wins the election. The United States has always been a global leader in technology and innovation, but that leadership is being challenged. China, in particular, is investing heavily in areas like artificial intelligence, 5G, and renewable energy. The 2024 election could determine how the US responds to this challenge. Will we see increased government funding for research and development? Will there be new policies to support startups and encourage entrepreneurship? These are key questions that will shape the future of the American economy. Now you might be thinking, what does this have to do with me? Well, everything. Technological advancements lead to new industries, new jobs, and new investment opportunities. Think about how much the internet has changed our lives in the last few decades. The next wave of innovation could be even bigger, and the 2024 election will play a role in determining whether the US remains at the forefront of that wave. Let's talk about the housing market. It's a huge part of the economy, and the 2024 election could shake things up. Depending on who wins, we could see changes in mortgage rates and lending practices. Zoning regulations might also change. One candidate might make it easier to get a mortgage, boosting demand and prices, but that could price some people out. Another might focus on affordable housing, helping with affordability, but impacting market values. The housing market is about supply and demand. Policies encouraging more homes help affordability, but take time to impact. Interest rates influenced by politics play a huge role in borrowing. The 2024 election's impact on housing is complex. It's about who wins and their policies. Pay attention to the election's impact on housing. Consumer confidence can make or break the economy. When people feel good, they spend more. They buy cars, invest, and take vacations. 
This spending fuels businesses and creates jobs, but uncertainty makes people hold back. Elections can mess with consumer confidence. Nervousness leads to less spending. Confidence is the gas pedal of the economy. When it's flawed, the economy races ahead. When it's not, the economy sputters. Elections shape economic confidence. Clear policies boost confidence and spending. Your vote shapes the economy's future. And there you have it, elite minds. 15 ways the 2024 election could completely transform the US economy. From healthcare to housing, taxes to trade, and everything in between, the stakes are high and the potential impact on your financial future is massive. Remember, this isn't just about politics. It's about your money, your investments, and your future. So stay informed, stay engaged, and make sure your voice is heard. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more insights. And hey, if you don't, we'll just assume you love paying taxes. Until next time, stay informed, stay invested, and keep building that wealth.